Hey, so welcome back. Um, como estas? Uh, so today, today I'm gonna hopefully get through this video with uh, the, the background noise. It's actually, this is my second take on the video. <laughs> uh, it was kind of crazy the first time. Um, but today I'm gonna talk about uh, how we got our isadillas and um, the process that we went through and um, what the difference is between a cedula, e cedula, and um, what a cedula actually is. Uh, so again, we use Kramer Law to go through the process to make it as seamless as possible. Uh, so what is a cedula? A cedula is a forever thing. Um, it's a document with a number specific that's a number that's specific to you. Uh, like your social security number back in the States or Canada, I don't know if Canada has security numbers. Um, but back in the States, um, it never changes. Uh, all Panamanians over the age of 18 are issued a cedula. Uh, fun fact, uh, cedulas were first issued for the purpose for uh, a voter identification. But if you are a foreigner getting the e cedula, then you, that's one thing that you can't do is vote, but pretty much everything else. Um, so foreigners that are permanent residents are not re we're not required to obtain this e cedula. However, it is highly recommended uh, because the e cedula card is an accepted proof of identity anywhere in Panama. Um, while a permanent residency card requires foreigners to carry their passport as a proof of identification. Um, so we, with our e cedula, we are no longer required to carry our passport everywhere we go. Um, so the only difference between the cedula and e cedula is the E on the card's ID number, uh, which stands for extranero, uh, which means foreigner in Spanish. Uh, so when you have an e cedula card, you can do your day-to-day -day tasks more easily. Without a cedula, anything you do, like getting a bank account, electricity, buying land, or even registering your car is done using your passport number. So everything we have right now is under my passport number, mine or Gail's. And unfortunately, every time you renew your passport, you get a new number. So, so changing the passport, the passport number is associated, so changing the passport number you have associated with almost everything in Panama uh, is a nightmare and takes time. So now we have to go through, no, I have to go through and change everything from our, from our passport numbers to our cellular numbers, which some of it doesn't have to be done right away, but some of it does. Um, so, uh, working with Kramer Law, they need the following to get the, pa the process started. First, your cedula letter. Uh, this comes to you usually from your lawyer, if working with one, uh, within about 30 to 45 days after getting your permanent residency. Um, and then they also need a copy of your passports, a copy of your permanent visas, and then a copy of your driver's license if you have one. Uh, the lawyer then makes an appointment at the Tribunal Electoral Building. Uh, the process actually only takes about an hour. It only took us an hour, which was really nice. Uh, within the building, there is, when you go to the building, there are three different steps that you have to go through. Uh, first, you need to verify all of the information, which is making sure that your name, last name, first name, last name, um, your birth date, all of that is spelled correctly and it's correct, uh, and also your parents' names as well. Uh, then you go, the second step would be going to the cashier and paying them. Um, it was $100 um, for each of us. Uh, and then um, the last step is to do your fingerprinting and taking a picture. So easy peasy, right? Took about an hour to do all that and we were good to go. But after that, then we wait for about a week or two 
um, for them to make the cards and then the cards will be um, the, it, ours should be here next week sometime um, they will get sent to the lawyer's office and in Panama City and then they will send it to us via Uno Express which there's one not too far from here so I have no problem driving that far to go get it um, so yeah that's the process that we went through and what an e cedula is and the benefits of having of getting one um, so talk to you next time